my friends and my dear students i hope you're all doing great well uh, in this lecture i'll teach you something interesting it's a bit tricky but i'll teach you in something in a, in a different way and that will be what you can say it will be one of the trick to utilize that for that particular uh, process so today we will be talking on the human skin color precisely we will see the genetics of the human skin color now before we begin with that let me give you a quick introduction before uh, mendel came into existence with his genetics of course there was a era which is known as pre mendelian era so whatever genetical work has been done in that particular um, phase it is known as a pre mendelian genetics then the mendel came into the picture and so for the mendelian genetics and right after that there are several genetical aspects including uh, aspects based on human body based on something else which uh, could not be explained with the help of mendelian applications so those are known as the post mendelian genetics or the new mendelian genetics human skin color is one of those such type of example and this human skin color could not be explained by the normal mendelian genetics but trust me the base for the genetical work is a mendel that's why he is known as the father of the genetics right so today we'll start and we'll see this particular concept that is the human skin color interesting a bit tricky like i've told you i'll teach you this with a trick so that you can understand how to represent and of course since it is a genetical determination that means you can understand somewhere down the line you have to make the punnett square you have to do the cross and calculations everything but let me tell you in the beginning only for the human skin color it takes a lot of time but that punnett square i will teach you how to do that but i will not going to do it here right now it it will take time right so i'll not do that so first thing about the human skin color is it's an example of polygenic inheritance now mark my word very carefully polygenic inheritance that means here it is actually a quantitative analysis not the qualitative precisely quantitative why you see the number of genes you have three genes all together and three genes will be controlling a single character or single you can say a feature of your body and that is a skin color so for the skin color you have three genes so i'll write it here for you number 1 it is my polygenic means more than a gene inheritance and you know the meaning of inheritance right these genes are gene a gene b and gene c so totally you have three genes and these three genes will be controlling only the skin color that's it now as you know the same concept gene and allele so gene will be expressed in the form of allele so that means every gene will have two two alleles right so definitely there will be a condition in which all of these gene will be present with its dominant alleles only so that time how it will look like all capital so what will happen here the production if this is the genetical constitution of an individual in this case the production of the melanin will be maximum why maximum all of these are present in the dominant alleles you can see that so if an individual is having such type of genotype that time that individual who will show maximum melanin production will be known as a negro whereas on the other hand this is one extreme case if we see if we see another extreme case how it will look like that means that time each one of them will be present in the form of its recessive allele right 
So in this case, what will happen? No melanin production will take place. No melanin production. Because none of them are present in its genetical uh, dominant copy. It's not there only. Not even one. So melanin production will not take place at all. In that case, that individual will be known as the albino. So now understand one thing. You have got two extreme conditions. All dominant, zero dominant. But guys, don't you think in between, in between these two, you have a scale as well? I have told you six dominant character or six dominant gene here. Six dominant allele, my mistake. And say here, zero dominant. So don't you think there will be an intermediate showing three dominant, right? What will be the range? Six dominant, five dominant, four dominant, three dominant, two dominant, one dominant, and zero, do, zero dominant, right? So if I write here three dominant, so can you figure out the condition of the three dominant? How it will look like? Don't you think it will look like this? Capital small, capital small, capital small. Can you see this? One, two, three dominant gene or three dominant allele I should say. Right? So this is one point of identification. Correct. Now let's begin with the normal cross so that we can understand this. So we'll start with the normal genetical cross that we do all the time so that we can understand what exactly is happening here. So I'll write here first as you know we always start from the pure lines so six dominant right zero dominant right now as they will cross as you know you will get the result as Right? As simple as that. So that's my F1 generation, as you know. Now, if you carefully observe here, this is a condition which is having three dominant copies. So, six, zero, three. So, it is an intermediate copies. I hope that makes sense. Right? Now, guys, what I will do, now see the trick. Here, I will write down all of these dominant copies first now see what i'm doing here what i will do six dominant three dominant zero dominant right now what i have told you six dominant means negro zero means albino three dominant means intermediate now understand this thing in between then who is residing five dominant four dominant same for here two dominant one dominant right now see what i'm writing if i go above the intermediate means i am increasing the dominant copy so can i write it will be the dark this is one case second the more i increase can i write this will be my very dark and finally it will be the negro all dominant copies now come here as i go down can i write it is my fair more down a step below can i write this is my very fair and finally the albino right so this is what you have got correct now as we know the f1 results will be will be doing a, we will be doing a selfing 
between these results right so let's do that so let's see the selfing here so what i'll write now i'll start with this and right now what we know in this case the number of gametes will be different the number will also be different here typically what do i need to focus on types of gametes will be different now see how to construct a gamete here first what i will do i'm sorry first what i will do i'll take all dominant copies maximum this is one gamete and i'll take all recessive copies another gamete right now what i will do i will start gradually decreasing the dominant alleles now here it is three so now what i'll do i'll make two dominant alleles so what I, what i'll write it can be like this right it can be like this it can be like this now you just simply fill the one two three now see one thing what i did i have started from three dominant allele i have ended up with two two and two so three dominant two dominant allele now i'll go to single dominant so what i'll do i'll write something like this a b and c so what i'll write now this this and this now you figure out this one dominant one dominant one dominant so can i write this is my one dominant copies all right so three two dominant copies three one dominant copies one one so three plus three plus one plus one total eight gametes from each one of these individual you will get so eight multiplied by eight how many you are going to get 64 right so you'll be getting 64 results 64 offsprings so guys come on like you know i'm not going to make the 64 over here it's not possible to make right now you'll get bored simply but there will be an assignment you do that at your home so that you better understand that on your own so i'll tell you how to represent this now remember meanwhile i will take this into as a configuration as a site so that this will be kept for my reference now understand what i'm doing here carefully i'll remove this because i'm going to make the punnett square Now friends, what I'll do, since you have got all of these gametes, so 8 gametes, 8 from the individual, 64 results. Right now, I'm not going to make all the results. I'll show you two examples, how to do the calculations. It's very easy, trust me. So as you know, meanwhile, you will be making, it's visible, yeah. Right? So this is one. This is two. I'll take two examples. Like I've told you, rest you will do on your own. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is visible. Correct. So, what I will do, just see now. It's very easy, guys. First, I will do, I will write all the gametes. So, like I've told you, I'll show you for two. So, I'll take two here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 1, 2. Right? So, rest it will be 8 because I will be multiplying with only 2. I hope uh, you have a clear concept on the Punnett square. So, this I will copy. 1, 2. It's small here, by the way. 
थ्री कैपिटल स्मॉल कैपिटल स्मॉल कैपिटल 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 स्मॉल 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 कैपिटल स्मॉल 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 कैपिटल एंड ऑल स्मॉल नाउ अंडरस्टैंड व्हेन यू विल डू दिस पॉनेट स्क्वायर यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल बिकॉज अ सिंगल मिस्टेक कैन गिव यू अ एंटायर रॉन्ग रिजल्ट सो प्लीज बी वेरी केयरफुल ऑन दैट नोट now as you know this will be multiplied with all this will be multiplied with all so now understand the trick it's very time consuming to write all the results so what i will do first i will do the verbal calculation i will see how many dominants i'm getting and as per this as per this i will fill up the gaps now see first this case so it will be all dominant so i'll write 6d right second one 1 2 3 4 5 5 it will be 3 so 3 will be fixed on this side so i just have to calculate this side so 3 plus 2 5 3 plus 2 5 3 plus 1 4 4 4 and this will be my 3 correct now you see here how many here i was i got 3 Here I got two, so two will be fixed. I have to calculate this number: two plus three five, two plus two four, two plus two four, two plus two four, two plus one three, two plus one three, two plus one three, and two plus zero two. so in this way you will calculate all these and then simply will go by the calculations you will you will go by the counting and you will get a phenotypic ratio right so in this way you can do the human kin skin color which is an example of polygenic inheritance very easy and interesting try to understand the trick i hope you have enjoyed the video finally if uh, any doubts in this case feel free to write me down in the box in the comment section where i will be able to answer you all of your queries meanwhile whenever you have a doubt in this particular video i will suggest you to pause the video go a little back watch that particular section once again and trust me you will understand so meanwhile thank you so much for watching the video if you have not subscribed once again subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up till then bye bye take care